Let's look at recording your meeting. So first thing you do is click the more three dots icon up here, and there's the record and transcribe area. Well, if I want to start recording, I can start a recording. I can start the transcription instead if I want. So getting a written record of what is said. If I start the recording, generally it's going to start both the transcription and the recording. It does give a pop-up warning everyone, and it's a good idea to let people know if you're recording a session for privacy. But in this case, you can see it does tell you if you've previously started or stopped the transcription. In my case, I have, but nothing's being transcribed because I'm not using my audio. As soon as I turn it on, it will start transcribing. I turn that off. I can go in and choose the language that is being transcribed. Under more, once again, I can go back and stop the transcription. So if I only want it recorded, I can always stop the transcription and vice versa. I don't have to record it. I could start a transcription without it recording. But ultimately, when I'm happy and done, I can stop the recording. It is worth noting that if I am taking a break in the middle of a session and I stop the recording, I'm not pausing it. I'm actually going to end up with two recordings when I come back and start it again. So just keep that in mind. Uh, finally, also worth mentioning that once I'm done recording, the recording should appear in the chat of the meeting I made. So it'll take a little bit of time to process, but then will appear and should be available to the people within that meeting. Or you can go to your OneDrive and get the recording. There should be a recording folder in OneDrive that has any recordings you've made.